Oh, hey guys, glad to see you. So today, I have actually something pretty cool planned. Instead of playing video games like I normally do, today, oh, wait, what the heck is that? Oh, what the heck? Was that a... Who the heck was that? Oh, hi. Who are you? I'm Mario. You want to help me collab on a video? Okay. All right, let's go. Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain. I can't hear you. Aye, aye, Captain. Oh. Who likes to play video games under the sea? SpongeBob SquarePants. Who loses and loses and probably will win? SpongeBob SquarePants. Who's on Nickelodeon like every single day? SpongeBob SquarePants. Who's brought on the black and melt like a man? SpongeBob SquarePants. It's the SpongeBob SquarePants Plays Show. <laughs> hey, now it's time to play video games. What's up, guys? Welcome to SpongeBob Plays, and today I actually have something unique planned. Before I was interrupted by. Oh, hold on, you're way too dark, man. Yeah, before I was interrupted by you. Hi, I'm Mario. Yeah, that's Mario, whatever. Anyways, today I have a unique idea. What is it? Well, I'm gonna get to it. Well, instead of playing video games like I normally do, because, uh, as you can see, my Nintendo Switch is charging, so instead of playing that, I decided to just do a tier list video. Wow, so basic. Yeah, I know. But, since this is a video game related show, today, we're going to be rating all Mario Kart games. You ready? I guess so. Well, that's good. Alright, let's go guys so here we are so yep as you can see we're, we're recording it on a screen recorder but you'll probably see us somewhere like here i'm waving and there's Mario right there all right guys and i'm right here right next to spongebob all right so with that out the way let's go so we have a lot of games down here as you can see we have mario kart 64 mario kart 7 mario kart deluxe so we're going to start actually with the first one, uh, Super Mario Kart. Well, personally for me, I feel like it's a good start to a series. Yeah, I mean, it's not bad, but it's not great either. So, what would you say? Let's do it. I say A. Mm, B. Yeah, actually, yeah, I agree with you more. Yeah, it feels more like a B tier game. So, Mario Kart, Super Mario Kart <laughs> will be in the B tier. Alright, now we're on a Mario Kart 64. What do you think about it? Well, it's a very good game, but... Eh, it's not great at the same time. Well, kind of like Super Mario Kart, it's a good sequel to a game, but... It got into that some problems, so I think it's an A-tier game. Yeah, it's an A-tier game, it's kind of classic. Alright, so yeah, we'll put Mario Kart 64 on A-tier. Next up is Super Circuit. It's basically just Super Mario Kart. Yeah, I mean, it's basically just Super Mario Kart with extra tracks and stuff like that. So, I think... Should we rate it the same or put it lower? Probably lower because it could have been, like, a good game, but they just didn't emphasize on it. Yeah, so, Super Mario Kart Super Circuit, you will be in the seats here. Alright, now it's time for Double Dash. This is a really good game. Yeah, it's a very good game. I feel like it's, like, a perfect game. Honestly. Yeah. Yeah, Super Mario Kart Double Dash is our first S-tier game. But DS breaks all former barriers. It puts it on top of another level. Like, instead of just two... You have mission mode? Like, dude, that is insane. Yeah. Personally, I feel like that'd be the best. So, mm, So, what about... Alright, so Mario Kart DS is obviously gonna be... In S tier, yeah. What about Wii, though? Wii? 
Well, delivering from the hype of Mario Kart DS, I feel like I could have been better, but it was just bad comparison. I feel like it's an okay game. Like, it isn't perfect by any means. But they were going to have Mission Mode, but they took it out. So, that it would have bring it up to an A. But for right now, Mario Kart Wii is in front or behind. In front, yeah. Mario Kart Wii is a high beat tier game. Alright. Now, we're going to take a break from these and focus on the three arcade games. Let's start off with the first one. Well, the first arcade game is okay. I mean, it makes sense because, well, it's basically Mario, like, you know, cross-branding with Pac-Man, so it's pretty good for what it does. Yeah, I think so, too. So, B? Yep, high B. Yep, high B. Alright, GP2. Arcade GP2. Uh, eh, yeah, they took a lot of stuff out of it. It's basically just the first game, but with extra tracks. Yeah, it was kind of disappointing, so it'll be the first D tier. Alright, now it's time for GPDX. It's pretty good. Yeah, they introduced a lot of new characters there, and I feel like since the updates would keep on coming, which was kind of weird for an arcade game, but it was pretty much a good idea fitting for Mario Kart. So, what would we say, um... Let's say A tier for right now. Yeah, let's put in an A. It's it's good. So, now back, we got Mario Kart 7. Mario Kart 7? Yeah, 7. I mean, it's not... <clears throat> sorry. It's not bad by any means, but it doesn't deliver to the hype. Yeah, it really doesn't. It doesn't deliver to any hype. So, where would we put it? Hmm, but yet again, though, it did have some good characters. It did, it honestly did. And it was pretty good, it kept you, like, coming back to the game, when, like, a computer messed you up and you got mad, you'd be, you'd be more, like, progressive to continue and beat that course, so. Pretty good all around. Let's put in an A tier. Yeah, A tier. Okay, Mario Kart 8. I don't know about this one. Yeah, A... It's the the tracks are good, but the battle mode was horrible, man. Yeah, I don't even think like it's a B tier. It's kind of more of like a C tier thing. Yeah, it's definitely C tier. So Mario Kart 8 is a low C tier. All right, eight deluxe. This is good. This is a very good game. The DLC is coming out. That's good. Too bad Mario Kart 9 isn't here yet, but I think it's pretty good. Yeah, it's it's delivering to the hype. It's delivering to the Mario Kart hype. And that's what you love to see. So let's put that in A yeah. Actually put it put it in front of Super Mario Mario Kart 64. Oh, okay. Alright, Mario Kart Tour. It's a phone game. It's okay. Yeah. I mean it's basically a phone game. As you can see. Yeah, we have a notification for it, but we're not gonna. Uh, we're not gonna. Yeah. Marker Tour is okay. It's kind of boring once you get into it, but I think it's good for what it can do. Yeah, so personally, I say C tier. What do you think? Um. Actually, B tier. It's. It has some good qualities. Well, I guess it's B tier then. Yeah. No, whoa, 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 whoa. Actually, in front or. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, but. Finally, Mario Kart Arcade GP VR. It it sucks. It, it it's not good. Yeah, it is not good, man. It's not good. So, we have all the Mario Kart games lined up perfectly in order. We have for our oh hold on, for our S tier games we have Mario Kart Double Dash and Mario Kart DS in our A tier. We have Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Mario Kart 64, Mario Kart 8 K GP DX, and Mario Kart 7. For our, oh, sorry. For our B tier, we have Mario Kart OK GP, Mario Kart Wii, Super Mario Kart, and Mario Kart Tour. For C tier, we have Super Mario Kart Super Circuit, 
and Mario Kart 8, the Wii U version. And finally, in D tier, we have Mario Kart Arcade GP2 and Mario Kart Arcade GP VR. I think this is pretty good. Yeah, but it was kind of short. You want to do like a different kind of game series? What about Mario Golf? I think more tennis. You want to do Mario Tennis then? Yeah. All right. Let's go do Mario Kart Tennis. We'll be right back. Yeah. Okay, so we're back. I couldn't find a Mario Tennis Games one, but I ended up finding one on characters, and I think this is going to be pretty fun. You ready, Mario? I guess so. I mean, if it's going to be good, I guess it will. All right, so let's get started. So the first one we're going to start with is Super Mario. Woohoo! He's, he's an all-around character, so he's basically a basic character. You know, like, the one kid who just got this game, he doesn't know anybody else besides Mario because his name's in the title. So he chooses him most of the time. Yeah, I feel that. And since he's like the main character of the story mode, it makes more sense in a way that he's basically the main star of the game. I think he's fine, so we'll put him in B tier for right now. Yeah, B tier. Luigi, he's Luigi. He... He's the, he's the GOAT. Like, he's always going to be the best. Yeah, he... He basically is an OG. We can't deny that he's an OG. You can't deny it. Yeah, so... S tier for Luigi. Yeah, S tier. For basically everything that he does, he's S tier. Wario... Some things about him I don't like. Some things are not good about him. Yeah, some things are just... Mm -mm. I don't, I don't feel it. I don't feel it sometimes with him. So, we'll put him in C. While Luigi, he's a Luigi, he's obviously going to be S tier already. Peach, I mean, she's a cool character. I mean, they did her pretty good in the game. Like, she's very hard to predict what's going to happen with her. So, A tier for her. Well, yeah. Daisy, I don't like. She's annoying. Well, it's not a... Well, this is not about the characters, it's about how they perform in the game. Right? I mean, I don't feel like Daisy's, like, a pretty much golden character. She's just there doing her stuff. And if she wants to do that, I guess she can. So, uh, I, don't, I don't really know. I say D tier for her. Honestly, I think it's okay. I put her with Mario. Alright, Rosalina. I mean, I... I kind of like her. Okay, I'm gonna need to just... Yeah. And, uh, I feel like, um... Rosalina's not bad as a character. Like, it's just... What does she do? Like, she's just... You know, they're doing her star stuff, like... She's kind of boring, so I put her in D tier. Nah, S tier. What? Dude, dude, that's just that's just really biased now. Yeah, but you put the Luigi's in S tier. That's not biased. Well, they're Luigi's. They're obviously the golden ones. You can't just put Rosalina up there because you like her. And I don't. Fine. Toad is annoying. Yeah, borderline annoying. D tier. Toad at... Tolerable, but still annoying. C. Bowser is just Bowser. He does what Bowser wants. D tier. Bowser Jr. It, it's just his clown car. He can't do stuff on his own. That's the thing I don't like about him. In Smash Bros., he has his freaking clown car thing. It's so annoying. He can't do stuff on his own. Then how is he going to make it in this world as an adult? Yeah, that's what I don't like about him sometimes. He just is so dumb. So, what do we say? Hmm. C. Yeah, high C. High C, like the drink? No, in the tier list. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Boo is boo, basically. Boo does what boo can. Um... I mean, the things he does is good. It's definitely going to flow some people off, so I say A. Yeah, he's, he actually is above... No, he's S. Yeah, I can't even lie. Boo is S tier. 
Yoshi is a good character. He's very fast, you know. It'll get him to the ball quicker, so that's a good thing. But what do we say about him in general? Well, personally, I say he's okay. It's just that he's just fast. That's really it. So, what do we say? A? Actually, I put him in the middle at B. He's okay. He's not like a Mario or a Daisy, but he's okay. Yeah. Alright, uh, DK. DK, big boy, you know, big muscles, big, big everything. Um, where do we put him? I say A. He's pretty good. Alright, put him in A. Spike, he's... He's a nobody, basically. D tier. Chain Shop. Why is he in the game? D tier. Koopa. He's a Koopa. B. Blooper. We'll put him B tier for Blooper. That's very original. Whatever. Diddy Kong. This is a character that's very good. Diddy Kong's underrated, personally. He's he's great, honestly. I don't feel like he's an annoyance or anything. I feel like he's just a good psychic character. Well, yeah. It figured out that with most of the list, it's just nobody. It's nice to have somebody that's very noticeable from the get-go if you're, like, a main Nintendo guy. So, we'll put him right next to DK and A tier. Yeah, no, yeah. Paratrooper. Kind of the same. No, nah, no, nah, you can't do that. All right. Shy Guy. He's someone that most people will enjoy, I guess. It's Shy Guy, so, yeah. Yeah, I guess so. We'll put him in B tier for that reason. All right, so, we're almost there. Petey Piranha, Big Boy Pete. My goodness, what do we say about him? I I don't know. He's really big. That's basically the whole point. He's very big and very hard to beat in some cases. So where do we put him? I feel like he's an A character because there's really no one else like him. Basically, uh, Luma. Why? Why, Luma? Why? Why, Luma? Why? No purpose whatsoever in the game. D tier. Boom Boom was just trash. Pauline. I mean, they're catching in on the Mario Odyssey craze and bringing Pauline back, you know. It's just all good all around. So, let's put her in S tier for that reason. Next to Luigi. Next to Luigi? What about Waluigi? Oh, yeah, right. Next to, yeah, Boo. Next to Boo. Kamek, he's Kamek, man. I don't, I don't really know what to tell you. Let's see, Drybones is a good character. I like him. Well, he's just a dead Koopa. What's good about him? Everything. Duh. If you ever play Mario Tennis Aces, you'll know what I'm saying. He's an A. He's a S tier. Fire Piranha Plant. Made no sense for him whatsoever. What do you say? He's an OG. Put him in S immediately. No! But, fine, put him in C. Dry Bowser is just Bowser but dry. So, D tier. Wow. That took a while. Yeah. You'd rather just end it off here? Yeah, I'll see you later, man. I, I gotta go. Or I guess it's just me now. Alright, guys, so here's the tier list. And that's tier, we got your boy Luigi, Waluigi, Pauline, Boo, and Drybones. In A tier, we have Peach, Dot, DK, and Diddy, Kong, along with Petey Piranha. B tier, Super Mario, Wahoo! Yoshi, Daisy, The Koopas, Blooper, and Shy Guy. 
Why is Blooper always being moved around? So, he's right here, yeah. In C's here, we have Bowser Jr., Wario, Toadette, Kamek, and Fire Piranha Plant. Finally, in D tier, Rosalina, Toad, Bowser, Spike, Chain Chop, the person who will not be named, Luma, Boom Boom, and Dry Bowser. Jeez, that was a lot. Man, Mario was right. That was a lot. And that was it. Jeez, that took so long. Man. If if my pores were real, I'd be sweating right now. Well, hold on. Mario, get back here. What do you want, man? I just want to chill. Well, big shout out to the man Mario for popping up on the show. Well, oh, really? You gave me a shout out? Thanks. Maybe I'll come back once in a while. You know, like a little friend of yours. See ya. See ya, SpongeBob. Alright, see ya. And that was it for this episode of SpongeBob Plays. I mean, it was weird, and don't worry. The fifth episode, we're going to do something really, really good. And I think you may like it. Sayonara, and see you in episode five. Hold on, I gotta. Yeah. There we go. See ya.